Y'all not ready for these pieces? I'm about to show y'all one. <laughs> one two hey everyone what is poppin welcome back to another video if you're new here my name is Kyra. do not forget to like comment and subscribe we are going to be getting into a collective haul these are just things i've been collecting throughout the beginning of the year it's still crazy to me that it's still the beginning of 2023 but it's going so fast i just want to show y'all everything that i've been collecting i know i've been wearing a couple of these items but i just want to you know thoroughly explain why i got them and just really show y'all in a video so if you're new here don't forget to subscribe period don't okay and make sure you follow me on all social media platforms and let's just hop right into it okay so i want to get into my most recent purchases which are these chanel earrings i just got these because my last chanel earring studs or whatever and these are hard to find but they got misplaced and i asked my essay if he can source them for me um because my friend actually had these on a trip and i was wearing the crap out of hers and i was like yeah i need my own so yeah i just recently got my cc studs shout out to daniel at sex but yeah, he sourced these for me and I'm just so happy that he found these because I've been missing my CCs. It's nothing like a good stud. Yes, they're absolutely overpriced, but am I going to wear them until they're tarnished? Absolutely, okay? Because these were a pretty penny. They're like $500, $600 after tax. And yeah, but I'm a girl that I'm definitely going to invest in pieces that i'm going to wear over and over again i'm really trying to ameliorate my wardrobe and also just get quality and classic pieces so yeah i definitely had to cop these so recently i've been trying to ameliorate my sunglass collection i am a person that it's so hard for me to find glasses that fit my face because i do have a wider face so i need bigger lenses i used to have the Los time cyclones i had two pairs they were my favorite pair i had a limited edition one and then i also had a black pair and they got broken unfortunately so i've been really trying to get sunglasses that work for my face so the first pair i'm going to show y'all are these ysl saint laurent sunglasses i've been loving these they're so big and perfect they're definitely giving main character vibes these are the yso belays sunglasses and they retail for about 960 dollars but like i said i like to invest in pieces that i know i'm gonna wear over and over again and like i said before i got a big huge face and my features are and my face is really wide so like i said it's hard for me to come across a pair of good sunglasses that i really like and are comfortable and i don't feel weird and looking crazy but yeah so these are how they look on i love them i'm trying to do this without ruining my makeup because yeah go get the car darling please please go get the car <laughs> i love them i'm so happy that i was able to find these they just give me like effortless without even trying rich rich money it's giving money it's giving everything that it needs to and i love them i love the ysl gold hardware i just think it's just that extra little something and i just love the thickness of these they're black bold and sexy and y'all have seen me wearing these a whole bunch so yeah like i said they're definitely worth the money they are expensive but like i said they make a simple outfit look extra like accessories just make the outfit okay and i love the case that it comes in too it's very sleek black leather it's sleek and i need to protect my glasses that cost 960 dollars and then the next pair of sunglasses i got are these celine sunglasses i wore these when i just went to veil if you haven't seen that video go check it out i did a whole vlog and we went to dinner and i knew this would set the outfit off as far as like my sunnies and i don't really have any sunglasses that have silver hardware so i was like you know what i want to get a black pair and i came across these celine so this is the case that they come in this black sleek soft leather case and this is what they look like 
And these give me those Prada irregular sunglasses shape and those obviously wouldn't look good on my face like i said whenever i come across a good pair of sunglasses that i can be like yeah that's her but yeah they just have the silver hardware and i don't know if y'all can tell but they're irregular shape this is how they look on like what y'all cannot tell me these looks these look so nice on me, like a classic. I'm about to go to lunch with the girls, babe. Take the kids, please. Take the kids. I'm going to lunch with the girls. I'm going to lunch, okay? It's giving real housewives. <laughs> I just like how these look on my face. It's not hugging my face so much. This is everything, like it's just classy, chic, clean immaculate so these are called the celine geometric sunglasses and they retail for about 500 dollars. and i think i paid like 560 after tax but these are so worth it like i said if i come across a good pair of sunnies i'm definitely snagging like it gives you that cat eye effect but it's it it sits on my face like i i just can't get enough like so super cute i can't wait to come across like a lighter pair of sunglasses i think i'm good on black right now i'm ready to get some color in here so but yeah those are it for sunglasses so let me get into i guess we can just stick to the accessories so i have two more so i have shoes and a bag so, so this is my first brandon blackwood purchase and i'm not upset about it i'm not upset because it's giving what it needs to okay let me go to the product description just so i know what i'm saying about this bag <sighs> and i'm so excited to show y'all this bag because it's so good it's so tea and I got this actually for my veil trip, but I wasn't able to wear it because the the, the jeans to the outfit wasn't done in time. So I was like, forget it. But I'm just so happy to have a brown bag like this. So this is the Cortini bag. And y'all, this bag is so tea. Look at it. She is main character. This is a statement bag, okay? And I wanted a faux fur wool type of vibe going on when I was in the slopes, when I was in the snow, obviously snow and fur go together. This is brown Mongolian wool. It's so soft. On the bag, it says Brandon Blackwood in silver hardware, but that's okay. Cause you can kind of not see it, but yeah, it's giving main character. It's this gorgeous brown leather. Y'all, this bag is so beautiful and it's so affordable. It was only $300. Well, not only, I should, but you know, for a, a, a luxury expensive bag and the leather quality, oh my God. It's so cute. And I'm gonna show y'all the jacket it was initially supposed to go with, but I just love the vibes of this bag. I don't know if I'm gonna get a chance to wear it this season right now, but it, it's still a little cold. It's still in the early i don't even know if it's when is the first day of spring i don't even know but if there's an outfit that i feel like wearing and i want to bring this out i'm definitely not going to have any issues being that girl because this is a that girl bag okay and it's giving fringe I, and the strap on here is adjustable it has three loops i haven't worn this bag so it still has like the wrapping and stuff in there super spacious so my vlog camera could definitely fit in here which is a must oh no we can't do that <laughs> But yeah, she's definitely a handbag. Like, yeah. I cannot wait to wear her. She's stunning. Brandon Blackwood snapped. Shout out to him. Black owned brand doing his thing. And this is not going to be my last Brandon Blackwood purchase because there's so many bags I want from his collection. So yeah, I wanted to start off big. I wanted to start off big with this. Think big. Think big. <laughs> definitely worth the money. So. Yeah, I'm so happy I got this. And I'm, I just can't wait to wear it. Like, I just can't. Cause it's just so cute. Like, it's stunning. Brandon Blackwood, he definitely snapped with giving us a box, a duster bag, and a luxury product for $300.
yeah and y'all know me i love to say my boxes so she's kept good and the last item for like accessory shoes type of thing are these mvp wardrobe shoes y'all i've been wearing these shoes like crazy because they're wide calf friendly so comfortable and i believe and i feel like these are affordable because it's so hard for me to come across a good quality shoe especially for my wide ass cat these are so comfy and so easy to walk in but i ain't gonna lie though they did play me when it came to like the flimsiness y'all know normally shoes come with stuffing this didn't come with stuffing at all um it just came with the shoe thrown in the box with the dusters <laughs> So I was like pretty upset about that, but you know, it's cool, it's cool, it's cool. So it's like this suede, and the inside is a soft leather. It's bendable, it's stretchy, it's not stiff at all, and you just pop your leg in it. I did have to wear this a couple times for the um, calf area to stretch out a little bit, but it was fine because I really wanted a good quality black boot because it's easy, it's simple, it dresses up a fit. You know, so I'm just so happy I found these MVP wardrobe. They're international and I paid like $400 for these. I think these are well worth it. And if you have a skinnier leg, it'll look kind of like the Givenchy shark boot in a way. This area is pretty wide. I've seen these on Instagram and the girl that was modeling them, she had like skinnier legs and these, were, these weren't as fitting around her calf as they are mine because mine's are huge and hers were obviously skinnier so um, I just liked the look of how the cab area looked on her legs. So I was like, oh, it's giving wide leg friendly. Let me see what these are talking about. But yeah, super comfy. The heel isn't even that big either. And I got these in a 41. So I was sized up. And like I said, they're international. So make sure y'all check these out for the boot season. And I'm going to be wearing these in a in the wind, in the springtime because I like to go out. I throw on a little black boot, call it one. You know, you can never go wrong with all black, okay? Like a quick one and done outfit. I've been getting so many wears out of these and it's definitely worth the money. So, highly recommend if you have wide caps, okay? And affordable. Okay, so next we'll get into clothing items. And y'all not ready for these pieces. Y'all not ready for these pieces. I'm about to show y'all one second. <laughs> I'm gonna show you the first item I was supposed to wear when I went to Vail. But like I said, the jeans weren't done. So I'm like, you know what? I'm gonna save it. I'm gonna save it for a day when I feel like slaying, okay? Effortless slay. But y'all, this jacket, uh, T baby, T. Jaded London knew what they was doing when they made this. Oh my, y'all see this coat? I don't even have to say much. There's nothing more stunning and gorgeous than a multiple textured fur, faux fur at that coat. And what sold me was the bag. I just love this. They really did their thing with this. I love how they mix it up with the different types of furs, textures, and I just love it. And then the little touch of like the leather brown. <sighs> sickening, sickening. Got this in a size large because this is international, okay? I can't wait to wear this. There's still cold days, okay? And I'm definitely gonna pull this out when it's a cold day. And I was supposed to wear this jacket with the Brandon Blackwood. <sighs> I wanted that fur vibe, you know? I just wanted a vibe when it came down to it. But y'all, this is sickening. And I love the collar on this. I love the high collar. And yeah, yeah, I cannot wait to wear this. So yeah, this is their Soho Fox Fur Bomber Jacket. Yeah, it's, this is the, hey, yeah. <clears throat> mm -hmm. Yeah, it's giving money, please. So, and like I said, faux fur, it's affordable, it's $150. I love finding affordable pieces that look luxury. Like this looks so expensive but it's not, it's only $150. And I like Jaded London, they're just a different brand. They make statement pieces, so make sure y'all go look on their website. But yeah, this is the Colt in 360 view, all the way zipped up. Like, what? This is amazing. I just couldn't pass this up. Like, this jacket is everything, everything. So I cannot wait to wear this. 
baby when i seen this it was a no-brainer for me it was like yeah you're gonna snap with this period you know how some items you look at and be like yeah we about to snap we about to snap this was that i'm about to snap the next thing i got from jada london was another jacket this is a leather slash denim coat situation i wanted this because i want to get more pieces that i can wear with stuff that i already have and like i said this brand is very affordable and i think this is a good statement piece as well this is their daytona off sleeve moto jacket and this also turns into a vest as well so if i wanted to really go for that biker vibe i could just unzip these but i'm probably not um but yeah i just love the vibe of this jacket it's giving very like tough girl don't mess with me and i love the back part as well and this if you end up getting this coat i would highly recommend sizing up this is a large and it kind of fits a little snug on me but i am losing weight so if i lift my hand or something it gets snug as far as like mobility and stuff like that but as long as i keep my arms straight i'm cool i'm good i'm i'm giving a look there's not i don't need to move too much but yeah it's super cute i love the vibes i'm a jacket girl i love jackets i'm one of those girls that if i co cover up my arms i'm a 10 i'm a 10 it's my face my face is giving because i don't like my shoulders <laughs> so i'm a really i'm a girl that really likes to cover up my shoulders my arms but i'm losing weight in my arms well i'm trying so yeah but anyways <laughs> but anyways um but yeah like i said i'm a jacket girl so had to cop those so these next couple items are just basic like i said i'm really trying to ameliorate my wardrobe pieces and i just love quality over quantity and i wear things over and over again until i can't wear them no more so yes absolutely i am going to invest in my pieces so the first thing i'm gonna show y'all that i was really like should i get it I don't know but i really like how it's styled i think it's just a simple but elegant tank top yeah a white tank top and this is the loewe embroidered <laughs> tank top and i just think this is just a little extra it's so simple it's so simple but it gives a statement because you have that little embroidered embellishment right there um on the tank top so if i wore like a jacket like i said i'm a jacket girl and i've been really into like blazers and wearing them on like a regular basis as like coats and i feel like this would just set the tone for a chic look and i was like you know what this is 300 dollars do i really want it that's why i was really like uh, do i really want this tank top it's so many like regular tank tops that i can make do but babes i caved in and i was like you know what <laughs> let me just see what it's giving and it's giving okay like just picture this on like a regular day you put on a blazer a coat and this is just sticking out and it's you're that girl you're a fashion girl period you don't need brands to make you feel like a fashion girl but like i said i just want classy classic pieces to make a statement look on like a regular basis am i gonna be wearing this down absolutely so if you see me wearing this over and over again in the summertime, mind your business, okay? Mind your own. <laughs> and this fits really well as well. This is a size medium. I thought it was going to fit snug, but it doesn't. It's a loose fit, but fit it at the same time. So <sighs> she's gorgeous. She's going to do what she needs to. But yeah, I really like Loewe. I really want the jeans next. I just don't know if I want to order them because I don't want to get them in the wrong size and they come looking crazy so but yeah i was like yeah and i do indeed plan on going on a lot more trips this summer so i just feel like this would be like an easy outfit you know going to breakfast or going to like somewhere to get something to eat with like some loose flowy pants you know and it's a statement it's giving it's giving to me so yeah we are ameliorating our wardrobe so yeah but i'm not going to tell you to go buy this at all i'm just telling you okay i'm just really being ostentatious actually so yeah but without trying the next item that i got is 
I got this on sale and I'm never gonna pass up a sale. And this is from Alexander Wang. I got this from, I just wore this on my trip actually um, to Bell. I, I just picked this up from the dry cleaning. And y'all, y'all need to start dry cleaning y'all clothes. I've really been into getting myself dry clean because like I said, I'm really trying to make my pieces last a very long time. Um, and I just want to get longevity out of my clothes. So I highly recommend dry cleaning. And I used to just pop things in a dryer, in a washer and dryer and not care. And they're just damaged. It gets so damaged. And I'm like, you know what? I cannot be investing in these pieces and ruining them. Got this Alexander Wang set. So this is the hoodie. And I just love the color. It's a neutral, nude, pulpy undertone. It's quality. And then I also got the matching pants to go with it as well. Alexander Wang makes some of the best sweatpants i've ever worn i love the thick band i love the quality and it's so comfortable it's so cute so if you can find these sets these sets go on sale on a regular so if you can pick up this on sale highly recommend definitely worth the money because i'm the type of person i'll keep buying sweatpants over and over again because they're so inexpensive and I'm like, you know what? Let me just invest in good quality pieces and just keep wearing them over and over again instead of buying, you know, inexpensive ones for cheap and they keep shrinking and they keep getting ruined. So yeah, that's the logic behind that. It makes, it just makes more sense. <laughs> if you feel me. Okay. <laughs> My makeup looks so good. Like, wow, she's see. And then the last couple pieces are just gonna be more clothing items. So I got this, I ordered this actually a long time ago. Um, this is a dress from Rat and Boa. Cause I was supposed to go on a birthday trip to Jamaica. So I was like, I wanna just look effortless and cute. And this is my first Rat and Boa purchase. And I've been seeing this dress go around the internet. Some people wear it as a dress, some people wear it as a cover up, but I was on intending on doing both. It was, well, I don't know, it depends on the vibe. So I got it in a size large, but it's this gorgeous, like magenta pink color. And the quality, it's not getting cheap, but it is thin, it's a mesh. Um, but I just love the little ruffle details on this. It's given very much Island Girl and yeah i just love it i love the open area so if i did wanted to wear it as a cover-up my swimsuit can show through but also if i wanted to wear it as a dress you can just tie the um and i just think this would look so gorgeous with tan skin i need skin i need color i'm, I'm pale right now but i feel like this will look so good effortless after i just soaked up all day in the sun and i just throw this on just effortless and it's very long as well and like i said before i'm really into good quality sweatpants so when i was in new york i ran into diesel and i was like i need something out of here i was initially going in there to see if they had this set but they didn't but i came across these runway sweatpants <laughs> the quality of these sweatpants are so nice it's heavy it's thick and I just love the acid wash detail of it. I'm I'm that kind of kind of girl. That's like my vibe. I love a good acid wash detail. So these, so this is what it's giving. Um, they're just regular sweatpants, but I really like the detail. I just really like the detail on the band part. I just thought it was cute, and I like that these are wide leg as well. And they also have a cut at the end. That's my favorite detail in a pants or a bottom or a trouser. I love a little split. It just gives it sexy silhouette. It gives the leg body. Oh, I didn't know. What the? What is this? <laughs> oh, no wonder these so thick. So they're double lined as well. They have this legging type of fabric situation going on inside the legs. And I just love a wide leg pants so I can wear a pointed toe booty i was thinking if i'm ever on like somewhere simple i could just throw on a pointed toe shoe with like a basic white top and call it one and it's a look so yeah i love these and like i said i'm a girl i love chic and i love comfy i love comfort i'm 
just that type of girl. I love being comfortable in my clothes. I just see a vision for this, like with pointed toe shoes, a nice bag, a plain t-shirt, call it one, tan skin, you know, you know the vibes. So another piece that I got, I think is such a classy, very sophisticated piece. And I was inspired by Savannah's um, if y'all don't know, Savannah is LeBron James' wife. She had wore this outfit. It was like a collared outfit. And I just thought it was so nice on her. She wore it in Paris for Fashion Week and I just thought it was so, such a good look. And she was all the way covered, all the way covered. And I seen this top in Zara and I was like, oh yeah, I need these vibes. So this is just a, this is button up, armless, white, simple, top and i feel like with my chanel brooch let me see or even without my brooch i wow this is so classy like i said i'm really trying to clean it up y'all and when i instantly seen the shirt i'm like oh yeah it's giving classy it's giving it's giving what it needs to <laughs> so i just think this is a elevated sexy sophisticated outfit that i have together in my head and i cannot wait to wear this it's so good and it's very lightweight as well it's not heavy at all so yum and the last two pieces is just a little swimsuit i got this off of revolve actually set from ghani i got this off of revolve love these colors like i said i was supposed to go somewhere for my birthday and i didn't end up going but it's this crocheted top it has a zipper in the back i just love the colors when i'm picking any type of resort wear out i always think how it's gonna look against my tan skin and i feel like these colors will definitely bring it out look how good this looks i love my melanin Ooh, ah! it's so good i love this and i wouldn't obviously tan in this but like I said, it's just a simple little top. And then also I have the matching bottoms. It's just a simple set that I could just throw on if I'm going to like the bar, the beach club, whatever I feel like doing out there, I'm doing. I just, you know, it's easy. I love an easy, simple, together set. She's cute. There is a matching hat that goes with it, but I'm like, no, that's too much. Okay, everyone. So that is it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Do not forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And let me know which one was your favorite piece. I cannot wait to wear these, y'all. Especially the Brandon Blackwood bag, the jacket. <sighs> can, can somebody take me somewhere, please? I need to go. That is it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Do not forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see y'all in the next video. You can't fit the world in